Special Forces prepared jumpers are helicopter-borne combat rescue teams. They extract wounded soldiers from the battlefield, often under fire. The soldiers call them their guardian angels. Today, the prepared jumpers are picking up a US soldier from a firefight. He's been shot in the face. The bullet has also punctured his lung. This kind of injury looks bad. There's a lot of blood loss. But this soldier will survive. Yeah, well, we, we never really saw where, like, where the shots were coming from. For the prepared jumpers, this kind of situation is a daily experience. Staff Sergeant Asher Woodhouse remembers his first mission. The first mission we had when we first got here was we got called out to uh, same thing, guy he stepped on an IED. He had both his legs were blown off. He was, he was, he was dead. And then uh, there was another guy who was lucky. I mean, he was able to kind of turn it aside and have all the meat kind of away from his air, so he was, he was able to breathe himself. And uh, he made it. He went into surgery as soon as we got back, and yeah, he made it. His friend was okay. It was sketchy. I mean. I just never know. Now approaching 2,000 coalition dead in Afghanistan, Helmand has been the bloodiest and hardest fought province of the war. US Marines have taken over from the British here, but after nine years and all the lives lost, this Taliban stronghold remains insecure. At their current rate of progress, it will take the Marines four and a half years to reach their objective at the border. Um, here at PBMA, being the southmost position, um, it's a steady progression that we're trying to move south all the way down to the border of Pakistan to stop the Taliban and Al-Qaeda from moving in from the Pakistan border. Uh, that'll be a work in progress. It's taken a year to move 20 kilometers um, and get all this established. Uh, enemy here is pretty significant. Uh, they've attacked us on several occasions, uh, shoot rockets at us, and there's plenty of IEDs all over the place. Just within uh, several hundred feet of this place, we've cleaned up close to 20, probably a few more, and that goes for each of the patrol bases here. For the Marines in Helmand, IEDs are a constant and insidious threat there has been an 80% increase in their use over the last year. The entire region is now regarded by the military as a low-intensity minefield. Yeah, over here in this intersection a couple weeks ago, we found anywhere from 10 to 15 IEDs probably, spread out with pressure plates, daisy chained together, um, just about 100 meters that way. So now we're trying to clear away from the intersection. White here, what did you find over there? I uh, found some wire spliced, uh, <clears throat> kind of hidden under some rocks, and then it ran, ran south down the road um, a little bit. And, uh, it's probably going into an ID there at the end. Boom! Stop that, man. <laughs> <laughs> the safest way for the Marines to clear mines once they've been detected is to detonate them. I hate waiting for it. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah! I love my job. I ain't uh, coming. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck! I, I told you. That's a big ass rock. <laughs> I told you to get right on. Go back to place. Mmm, I love the smell of Kordak in the morning. 
The Marines must go out on eight to ten hour foot patrols every day. So hot. It's 55 degrees centigrade in Helmand province. Heat stroke and dehydration are an ever present danger. As well as full battle dress, each Marine must carry five liters of water. We don't know if you, it's your position or not, but there's a possible imminent attack. Okay, hey, you're using a double that. negative, dickhead. Possible and imminent are two different words. Which is going to be possible or there is an attack about to happen? Guns, one, two, you copy them? Yeah, get some. Hey, you copy that? Yeah, I got I'm getting up there. Got it. We got tow one five coming up. I need that green gear. Ask what they got green gear up there. Take this. Take this. Take this. Cover me. One one two. We got a marine hit. Stand by for miss. Gonna be coming over green gear. Hey, come around this way. Death star. He's over here. We got staff sergeant. Hey, that way. That tree line! From this tree line right here! Weber! Hey! Fire into that tree line! Rojas, move up! Rojas, move up! We got you! Yeah, we're about to pop some. Hey, Weber! Bill! Pop 203 smoke in that tree line! Oh, fuck! Oh shit! Fuck! What was that? That was right over our heads. Hey! Send it! Fuck! Before we die. Ah! Guns one two, you gotta say again four. I can't copy anything you're saying. RPG hit. Roger, any casualties? Hey, we do. Stand by. Hey, get out of that field. Let's go. Move back. Hey, let's go. We're moving back. Oh. Yeah, I'm all right. 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 Gunshot wound to the left. Trap. Bleeding. Applying pressure dress. Tourniquet. Break. Bill. Get up there and get some rounds down. Right. Don't shoot right down this way. We got fucking people in front of us. Watch. Watch. You know, we got people right in front of us and to the right. All right. Back. Back. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Ahead of them, part of the patrol has taken two casualties with shrapnel and gunshot wounds. The Marines must head straight for the enemy to retrieve their men. Roger, I'm trying to find Russell, out what's the status of my medevac for a pushing the casualty. Thank you, thank you. I need the status of my bird, please. Remember, my green gear is down, so I have no comms. We are going to be popping yellow smoke. I say again, yellow smoke for my LZ. You're fucking taking too long. Let's go. Go, Doc. Cover us. 